This is Pastor Ken coming to you again in that profound name, Lord Jesus Christ. Name that is above all names, 
In the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, every tongue should confess that he is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We do thank God today for blessing us, amen, to come to, to your homes, your automobiles, wherever you are today, amen, by way, amen, of social media to say that Jesus is alive and well. Certainly we do thank God today, amen. We want you to inbox us if you need special prayer, special miracle, please inbox us, amen. So when we pray, we can pray one for the other. For God is a prayer answering God. So God bless you today. We thank you, amen, for your tithes, your gifts, your offerings, amen, for your special sacrifices, amen, that you make to the kingdom. May God richly bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God. And don't forget on this week to at least call three people and share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And let them know that God is a great God and he is the savior of the world. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for grace, for mercy. We thank you for making a way for us. Oh God, that you open doors for us time and time again. We thank you, oh God, for being a way maker, a burden bearer. We pray you bless us in a special way. Every need, Lord, you would meet that need in the name of Jesus Christ. And those who expect a miracle can have it today. Give us a miracle, Lord, in our homes, our businesses, and wherever, oh God, that we are desiring your help. You said you are a present help in the time of trouble. Do it for us today, and we give you glory and praise. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. 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 So God bless you today. We're grateful to God. Amen. This is Bishop Ken coming to you from the Red Refuge Temple. We thank God he's blessed us here at 1317 Row Avenue. Amen. And also our sister church that's located in Lakeland, Florida at 1258 uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. So let us, amen, come and be blessed by the Lord. Amen. And see won't God do something special for us. Amen. We're making ready for the scripture. Uh, this is Jeff Davis will come with that scripture. Amen. And following him, Amen. Will be a song selection. And then the next voice will be that by Apostle Dr. General Gruber. Hear ye the man of God.
Praise the Lord, everyone, and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our scripture will be coming from the 24 Psalms, beginning at first verse. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. He hath established it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord, or who shall stand? in his holy place. He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul in vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is a generation of them that seek him, that seek the face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. We thank God for the reading of the 24 Psalms. May it be a blessing to you and to yours. Thank you. 
Pastor, the Apostle Dr. General Gruber, who pastors on both campuses. Amen. We thank God for him and for the wisdom that he's given unto our leader.
Greetings and praise the Lord, everyone. Once again, we come to you in that wonderful name, Lord Jesus Christ. I want to ask you to follow me along. I want to go back to our topic from our last meeting, our, our last service, because I feel that it is so important that we need to recognize the greatness of our God to a different level. He wants us to know and he cares and he's taken us somewhere and we want to go all the way with him. Everything you need is embodied in him. The all sufficient God. And as we continue this message. May the Lord bless you to continue to gain from it strength, encouragement, because the Lord want to take us to our final destination. And in Judges 6 and 23, and the Lord said unto him, Peace be unto thee, fear not. Fear not, thou shalt not die. He has thoughts of peace and not of evil. Yes, he thoughts toward us, his thoughts toward us, the thoughts of peace and not evil. What an awesome God. And he knew what your end would be. Even before there was a when and a where of the beginning. Psalms 29 verse 11 says that the Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Israel, or Isaiah, puts it this way, Isaiah 48, 18, speaks of how the peace had been as a river and the Lord's righteousness as the waves of the sea. He is sensitive to the needs of his children. The very presence of the Almighty in your life is peace. He is our peace. It is not conditions or situations, or external peace, calm, or vicious. Our peace is within us. He is our peace. God is not only our peace, but he is our provider, the Jehovah Jireh is all things and can provide all things at the same time. Whatever it is that you can imagine that is in his will is yours for the asking. He is willing and able to provide he is the giver of power, good and perfect gifts, abundant blessings, and the one who makes us fruitful. The Lord is your strength, your Jehovah T. 
Tisha. T-S-U-R, Exodus 15, 2 says, The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. Praise the Lord. He is my God, and I will prepare him in habitation. him to live internally in my heart, my soul, and in my mind. My Father's God. And I will exalt him. The psalmist declared in chapter 28 and verse 7, the Lord is my shepherd and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song, I praise him. There is nothing that you cannot do when he provides your strength as time goes on, time permits. If you take the time and just read Psalms 46 in its entirety. Verse one says, God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. He doesn't have to come from anywhere. He's always there. Giving you the strength you need, giving you the help and encouragement you need, Satan will see you dance in the rain in all that he may do to try to take your joy. It will increase the more because of God who gives you joy. And he declared that the joy that I give you, no man can take it from you. God is our refuge and strength. Very present help in the time of trouble. The Lord is your shepherd. Your Jehovah Roy. In Psalms 23 and 1, David said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. It's good to reach a place in life when we can trust God to the level that we can say that I shall not want for any good thing. For the Bible says that if a man walk up like that before, he shall bless him with the desires of his heart. He would not withhold no good thing. He will bless him when he come and bless him as he go. I shall not want. He maketh it so that you want nothing. He can satisfy the soul. He can bless the soul to the point where we can just rejoice. We're not longing and pleading for anything. We're enjoying the fullness of God's presence in our lives and letting him know how much we appreciate him. So saints of the Most High, let us move on up the King's Highway with the Lord God Almighty. 
as we stay focused upon the vision of the kingdom. He's coming back for us. He is moving us to another place of enjoyment, another place of victory. We should give him praise and give him thanks. He makes it so that you want for nothing, there is no lack. The sheep depends on the shepherd. Isaiah 40 and 11 says that like a shepherd, he will tend his flock. In his arms, he will gather the lambs and carry them in his bosom. Praise God. Hallelujah. He will greatly lead the nursing era. Christ is the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. According to John 10, 11, whatever the cost, A few days ago, we celebrated the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the Passover. He got out of the grave to see to it that everything he died for shall be accomplished. Thanks be to God. The Lord is your righteousness. He is. Jehovah Tistanu. Jeremiah 23, 6. In his days, Judah shall be saved. And Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name. Whereby he shall be called. The Lord our righteousness. He is our wisdom. He is our righteousness. He is all we need to be in him. It is thought that righteousness alone that you can enter heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness should exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, you shall in no wise and in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. We see around us people who have a form of godliness but denying the power and They profess Christ, but do not demonstrate that they possess him. The Lord is your most high God. He is Jehovah Elion. Psalm 717 says that I will praise the Lord according unto his righteousness. And I will sing praises to the name of the Lord Most High. Saints, I say to you today, we have a charge to keep and a God to glorify. We've been called. He has set us in position to bring glory and honor to him in these last days. He wanted to be demonstrated 
every believer has power over darkness and everything that Satan try to bring. We will give God the victory and, and glory. And we'll sing praises to the name of the Lord Most High. And then in Psalms 47 and 2, the Lord Most High is awesome. The great king over all the earth, the Lord is your victory. He is your Jehovah Nisi. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it Jehovah Nisi. Exodus 17, 16, 15. The Lord is your banner. Psalms 20 and 5. We will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God we will set up our banner the Lord fulfill all thy petitions the Lord is your eternal creator he is your Jehovah Elohim. If we go back to Genesis 2, 4. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they was created. In the day that the Lord made the earth and the heavens, it wasn't something that he thought of later on. This awesome God of ours created it from the beginning. The Lord is our God. The Lord is your God, ever present. He is your Jehovah Shema, as declared in Ezekiel forty eight thirty five. The end of the verse says, the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is here. And if we go back to Psalms 91, 14 through 16, Because he has set his love upon me, praise God. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Do you see now that everything you need 
is waiting for you in God. Everything you need or could ever desire is embodied in Jesus Christ himself. Outside of him is nothing good. Paul wrote that Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. Existed before anything was, created and supreme over all creation, but through him God created everything. In the heavenly realm, on earth, he made things you can see and things you can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, authorities in the unseen world. Everything that was created by him and for him, he existed before anything else. And he holds all things. All creations together, he holds them together. The awesome God, the awesome God, the created one. He wants us to trust him. Colossians 1, 15 through 17 says, Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? So by him were all things created in that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thorns or dominions, principalities of powers. All things was created by him and for him. He is before all things and by him all things consist. As we bring the thought to conclusion, Proverbs 18.10 tells us he is the strong tower where the righteous run in and they are safe. Aren't you glad you're in him? Aren't you glad that you choose him or he has chosen you to be his representative? God has a closet full of blessings. Everything that you need is just waiting for you Turn around and open the door. And when he opens the door, no one can shut that door. We are moving with God from one place to another. May we trust him to take us all the way Rejoicing and celebrating life, celebrating the goodness of God, and celebrating his love for each of us and has given to us one another. My prayer is, sons and daughters, we must be the one tell the world 
He is the one, the only one. As we journey on, the Lord will help us to get there and we'll get there victoriously, giving him glory as we journey. My prayers are with you. The rich blessings of God be upon you. May you never doubt him, but always trust him because he cares. He loves you. He's always there for you. Will take good care of you. Everything you need is embodied in him. The all sufficient God. May God bless you. Lean on him. And see won't he keep you from falling. In that wonderful name, Lord Jesus Christ. And so be it. Until next time, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the matchless name, Lord Jesus Christ. And so be it. Amen. And amen. Praise the Lord and thank you for joining us for today's virtual worship. Tune in again with us this week on Wednesday at 7 p.m. as we come again to corporately tell the Lord thank you for his unmerited favor. Be reminded that disciples make disciples and we are to evangelize the world for Jesus Christ. So make sure to do your part by calling at least three people this week and sharing your story of God's grace with them and then inviting them to join you in worship. If you have been blessed through this ministry over the years and would like to sow a seed either into the Jacksonville or Lakeland campus, giving opportunities are on your screen. Whichever campus you choose to support, will promptly receive your donation. Thank you for your continued support to the work of the ministry. Are you in need of prayer? Our pastors and the prayer team would love to touch and agree with you. You may call the church office at area code 904-768-4009, type your name in the comments, inboxes, or send your prayer request by email to refugejacks at yahoo.com. We send our prayers and love right now to those who are experiencing especially tough times and our heartfelt condolences to the families who are experiencing bereavement. If you haven't already, go ahead, press the like button or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we're also waiting for your praise report. What has God done for you? Write to us and brag on God's goodness to you and your family. We look forward to hearing from you. And don't forget, we do have our Bible class today via teleconference at 11.30 a.m. And until we see you on Wednesday night for a powerful word from the Lord, as our pastor, Most Honorable Apostle, Dr. Gentle L. Groover says, it's getting better all the time.